Welcome back. 6.54 now. Shops across the country are preparing for their busiest Christmas yet, with customers expected to spend spend more than ever before, which is, surprises me, actually. It really does, yeah. me too. And it's not just shoppers who are spending big, actually. Retailers have already forked out hundreds of million pounds of pounds on Christmas adverts, yeah. many of which I'm sure you would have seen on TV this weekend. With just six weeks until the big day, the battle to get us in store is well and truly on just <laughs> six weeks. Kamal Farnboller is in a very festive Manchester this morning. Morning, Kamal. And it really is big business, as if we didn't know, for retailers. Well, here in Manchester, the City Council will spend £900,000 on their Christmas lights. Experts will say it is a way of enticing shoppers into the city centre and making sure they separate themselves from their hard-earned cash. Well, it's very much the same with the big retailers. They will spend nearly £400 million on advertising in October, November and December. Why do they spend so much? Well, we Brits are set to spend more than £10 billion this Christmas for the first time ever. That puts typical families' total spend at around £835. It's no wonder that high street giants go for maximum impact with their adverts. They clearly want to maximise their profits. In the 80s, we were wowed by Woolworths, dazzled by Debenhams, and Currys were selling us shavers, cassette players and consoles. And let's not forget those holiday heartwarmers that return year after year. Good old yellow pages. It makes me feel really Christmassy. It's like in the spirit of it. I actually find them quite boring, and some of them seem a bit repetitive. But now it seems it's less about product and more about production, with this year's Yuletide offerings no exception. But are they festive feel-goods, or do they drive you Christmas crackers? They're always so cute, and they just get you all like, family orientated. They're too orchestrated and too um, theatrical. They are certainly theatrical, aren't they? Joining us now is brand expert uh, Jonathan Gabay. Um, they are beautiful to look at, these, aren't they? But I was watching just... Uh, they all they seem to merge into one. They all seem to have that similar sort of feel about them and, this and year. And the feel is... Nostalgia. Oh, nostalgia. <laughs> That's yeah. the feel, you see. That's the feel. It's all about nostalgia. It's all about making you think about the Christmases past. Whether those Christmases past were actually as good as they are in the adverts or not is another thing. But it's to get you to feel that, you know, it's a season of giving. And from a psychological point of view, um, you've got to actually put these adverts out for about seven weeks or so before because you've got to embed the idea mm -hmm. of, um, you know, it's a good thing to do. I mean, people are talking about the adverts, aren't they? It's almost becoming, you know, like in the Super Bowl, the adverts get spoken about more than the game itself. Mm. At Christmas, it almost feels like this year, certainly, it's getting to be, there's a big supermarket coming out with a three-minute epic or something tonight in the middle of Corrie. Um, is it worth it to them? Absolutely, because what they're looking for, they're looking for about 20% of annual sales to come. That's a big amount. Mm. That's a big, big figure to come from the Christmas period. And... From those cells, that kicks off the year really neatly and, uh, and nicely. So that's why they're doing it. One I saw for the first time last night featured Anton Deck for a, another supermarket. Ah. It ended with them trying to eat a, a live gingerbread man, which really stuck in my head. But what, what is the point? Is this to encourage your, 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 the audience or the customers who already come to you to come in more? Or are you trying to poach customers from other shops? You are trying to get a repeat purchase, but you're also trying to get other customers to say, hmm, they, they seem to have a, a good range or whatever the range may be that they're selling, the retailer. I think I'll try that. Mm -hmm. And the thinking part is actually very, very key to all of this, because what happens is that a lot of advertisers, they're putting together commercials that show the idea of thoughtful present giving. You see what I mean? So if yeah. you go there, you're thinking about the present, what kind of a present to get. And that's why you get advertisers who will use social media, which will show things like extras, like how the advert was made and yeah. stuff like that. Now, the reason for that, because subtly what they're doing is they're putting in your mind the idea of thought, thoughtfulness. You know, and I, ah, I'm thinking about this. And because I'm a thought, thoughtful person, mm. I'm going to go and um, shop there. But it's interesting to think that we're all going to spend more this year, given we're all feeling a bit more of a squeeze. Mm. But it's, we'll see, won't we, in January when the figures come out. It's it all works. about those yeah, big figures in January. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. My pleasure. So six weeks till Christmas, but Laura already has a red nose. Because